for days three, four, and five, we're gonna leave the El Cortez. We're gonna head to the Strip. We're gonna go for a ride on an F1 racetrack. We'll try a couple of new places. We'll play some skee ball. We're in for the best meal of our trip. I was dreading paying 35 or 40 bucks for a cab to go from downtown to the Strip. And the valet person asked where we were going. He said, oh, I can get you a ride to the Horseshoe for $25. Would you like that? Yes, I would. So we arrived quickly at the newly remodeled Horseshoe, which I didn't expect after hearing all the whining about construction and traffic. I shouldn't have paid attention to all the internet bitching. Checking at the Diamond Lounge is never any trouble, especially when you have Mindy. Went up and checked out our very nice room. Everything looks great, including the view of the sphere. We were a little disappointed, but we were warned well ahead of time. We had reservations to stay at the new wing of the Paris. They called us two weeks ago and said they were sorry, but the rooms were not going to be ready. So they offered us this room at Horseshoe with an extra $100 resort credit. Although I'd like to see the new rooms at the Paris, that's not a bad trade. So we got settled in and we headed straight down to Guy Ferreri's. Fer um, we went to Flavor Town. We were dying to have some more of those trash can cheeseburger nachos that we had last trip. And a news flash, they are still awesome. We woofed down those nachos and we headed out to New York, New York. We walked all the way from Horseshoe to New York, New York, completely unimpeded by any F1 construction. And it's really nice to get out and take a walk and see the fall foliage as the leaves change colors. There's always nice sights to see along the way. Oh, and did I not mention yet? We're going to check in at New York, New York for the first time ever. We've never stayed there. Well, we thought, what the heck? We want to take advantage of our MGM free play and resort credit. So we'll check out some place we've never been. Checking into the VIP lounge it is very nice at New York, New York. They offer you complimentary beer, wine, water, cookies, coffee, and pastries. Check-in was not only a breeze, it was a pleasure. Our room wasn't quite ready, we had to wait a little bit, but when it was ready, we were pleasantly surprised. That's pretty nice. It has the Stay Well air purifier. It has a fridge for your stuff. Interesting decor. I like the floors. It has one of those very open and very usable closet areas with a nice giant mirror. Bathroom's plenty big enough. And the shower has the added water conditioner. And it has a little accents box. Makes the room smell pretty. And Josh and Rachel were in the area, so we met up. It's always fun catching up with Josh and Rachel. We didn't really do much, we just kind of walked around and, and catching up with old friends. We had very special dinner plans at Jack Binion's. It's been open for a little bit, but this is our first time going. And we signed up for the chef's experience. The manager 
came to our table and talked to us, told us all about the chef, and the chef's experience, how the restaurant came to be, told us some very interesting history about Jack Binion and Las Vegas. We talked for quite a while about the history of Vegas. We had a very interesting and informative visit. We ordered our drinks and after telling them what I liked, the manager recommended the boss's old fashioned, smoked in cherry wood. Mindy found an interesting drink right up her alley called the Double Down. <laughs> she ordered it and the waiter seemed very concerned. He, he tried very tactfully to explain, ma'am, this drink is really, really strong. It has vodka and gin and it is very strong. We laughed and I assured him Mindy will be just fine. We both enjoyed our drinks very much. Oh, and we had an amazing appetizer. We had the fried mozzarella heirloom tomato salad. This dish should, should be on the dessert menu. As we often do, Mindy and I shared a porterhouse steak. It was cooked perfectly, it had a lot of flavor and it came with a one pound baked potato with six shots of toppings. It was all very good. We barely had room. Actually, we didn't finish our dessert, even though it was a very good chocolate, caramel, nut layered cake. All in all, it was a very good meal and a very good experience. The service was outstanding. Jack Binion's definitely makes it onto our list of favorite restaurants in Vegas. I think we might have gambled a little bit and then went back to the room and went to bed. And the next morning got up just in time to make it to another one of our Martini Monday gatherings at the Fuel Bar. The two for one drinks at the Fuel Bar is a really good deal. We appreciate everybody that showed up. We had a lot of fun hanging out with Josh and Rachel and uh, Andy and Simone. And we finally got to meet Walt and Tina and Mitch and Justin and Nas the Great from Chicago. This is his first time in Vegas. And we tried to win shots for the whole bar. Yeah, it's not as easy as they make it look. How long have you come to Vegas? This is actually my first time. Really? Oh, really? Very awesome. first time. Everything is perfect. It's been an experience. Are you coming back? Absolutely. Absolutely. So after Martini Monday at the Fuel Bar, I think we had lunch somewhere. I think maybe we had some more trash can nachos. Sometimes in Vegas you lose track of what you did. But after we got something to eat, we were playing some slots at the horseshoe, looking for a good game, and I hear somebody holler out, hey, are you Tom and Mindy? And we made some new friends, a really nice couple, Jeff and Amy. We hung out, had a couple of drinks, went over to the Cosmo and had a few drinks. Uh, Bobby Valentino joined us for a drink. Yeah, we hung out and all got to know each other and had a really good time. Are we doing this? Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Look at on the other side. Right here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. We went back to the horseshoe and did some more gambling. Got all three of them at once.
Thank you. Not bad for 88 cents. Really late. Mindy and I realized that we forgot to have dinner. We found wound up at the food court at the horseshoe. I had a pizza and Mindy had a Subway sandwich. Fast food is really good at 1 a.m. Uh, the next day was traveling day, but we had time for a lunch before we took off for the airport. We decided to go up and check out Beer Park. It's a really fun place and it's got some neat views. It's a fun place to hang out. We're gonna come back here when we have more time, play some games. This would be a really fun place to have a group a meet up and get together. Mindy and I shared a big grilled sandwich and some tater tots. And then we had a little ski ball competition. We played a few games. I don't know if the machine kept track of the score properly. I'm not really sure who won. Now when we left for the airport, because of the F1 construction, we had to take a detour still didn't seem like it took very long to get to the airport and we got to see a couple of parts of vegas that we've never seen before not to mention the fact that we got to ride on an f1 racetrack you're on the racetrack now That was one of the best Vegas trips we've ever had. We met so many nice people, made new friends, met old friends. And Vegas is such a fun place to try new foods, try new restaurants, go to new places, and meet new people from all over the world. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. 